right, guys. Uh, this is an easy video uh, to make right here. <laughs> um, right now, it's two minute warning. Dallas up thirty to ten. Uh, I guess we can give the game ball to uh, none other than Michael Parsons uh, and, and and the kicker because those two won the game for us today. Michael Parsons and our kicker. Uh, this was a field goal game for us. Uh, the defense, once again, once again, guys, the defense have saved us. Uh, I, I don't want to say saved us because it's such a large margin, but the defense won this game for us today once again. That's what I mean by saved us. Our offense, I'm, we're still kind of waiting and looking and searching for uh, a consistent offense right now. Uh, I, I said in my live stream I made uh, right before this um, that the offensive line is the problem. Uh, Zach Martin can't block everybody. Um, him and Biotis are the probably the most consistent ones on there, especially Zach Martin. Uh, but we're, we're just having trouble with that offensive line. Uh, Pollard had some 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 big runs here and there, but nothing was consistent. We got to figure out who our bell cow is. Uh, we still don't know who that is. Um, uh, Pollard's our guy, but um, I, I've said this and I've said this before. Uh, the run game is not consistent. And it could be just because of the offensive line. You know, uh, it's just two games. It's kind of hard to answer those questions that we're waiting, that we're wanting to get answered after two games. Um, so uh, this is a good win. Obviously, the, the Jets uh, got to give them credit. Their defense is really good. Their front four and front seven. Their front seven is really good. Um so us being able to still kind of run the ball a little bit. Uh, and we, you know, Dak Prescott did okay. You know, I don't think he had any turnovers tonight. So we can't blame Dak on this one as much as we want to blame Dak. Everybody wants to blame Dak, you know, uh, not having a, a, a healthy offensive line is kind of the blame. So uh, that's where a team starts. You got to have a healthy offensive line in order to, for everything else to, it's a domino effect for everything else to work out and comfortably run plays, comfortably run running plays, comfortably run do passing plays. Um, you got to have a healthy offensive line. I can't stress that enough. I probably said that too much. Uh, play calling. Uh, I'm really not talking about the defense because there's really nothing to say. I mean, they did their thing. They won this game for us, them and the kicker. So everybody know defense is pretty much self-explanatory. My focus really is on the offense. We got to figure out how to get this offense going, guys. We got to dig in there. The play calling was okay, but at times it looked kind of Kellen Morris. I felt like Kellen Moore was on the phone with Mike McCarthy or something and giving him pointers or something. I'm still seeing those damn screen passes and all that shit. Uh, that this college plays that didn't work. Uh, but uh, Mike McCarthy did do a good job of getting the ball upfield. My problem is, my problem is, we have no problem getting the ball upfield and converting and moving the chains. That's not a problem. Uh, but my problem, my issue is when we get down there, when we, we get all the way down there for nothing, that's a big problem. You cannot get all the way down the field and get on the damn two-yard line and not score. That's almost impossible, but the Cowboys have made it possible. You can't do that against a better team. There are better teams down the road than the Jets. Uh, obviously, we got past a really good defense. They get paid to play, too. But uh, we got to figure out this offense, man. We got to get points on the board. We should have more than 30. Our kicker was the only guy scoring points towards the end of the game. That cannot happen. And also, when you get a fumble and, and, and your best player, on, probably on the team, but your best player on the defense, which is Michael Parsons, calls a fumble, runs it back. They call it back because they said he was touched or whatever. We didn't reward our defense for that fumble. We What happened? What did we do? Three and out. I think we had the ball for maybe a little bit over a minute, if that. And we kicked the ball right back to the Jets. So when the defense gets a gift, gives you a gift, they give you an interception, they give you a turnover, they give you a fumble, whatever, your job as an offense is to pay them back, reward them for their hard work and dedication and determination. But no, no, not the Cowboys. They get in there, uh, Dak Prescott, uh, uh, let's do a run play here. That's screen pass there. Oh, three, third down. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, let's punt the ball to him. No, man, you got to continue to apply pressure, man. 
You got to kick them while they're down. That's what the sport is all about. We got better teams down the road, guys. We got better teams we're facing down the road, and they're watching. They're like, you know what? The Dallas Cowboys still can't score in the red zone. The Dallas Cowboys still rely on one, maybe two players on offense. You got to spread the ball. Michael Gallup, one pass. I, I think he caught one pass. Uh, tight end. Uh, yeah, we scored with a tight end, you know, but you got to spread the wealth, man. You got to spread the ball. There's got to be somebody to step up on offense, guys, when, when things aren't going right, especially with the offensive line. I may be wrong. I may be right. I don't care. I'm not going to lose, lose no sleep if I'm wrong. I'm not going to lose no sleep if I'm right. But that's my view of today's game, guys. Uh, good win. I'm glad we got the win. I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of our defense. Offense did okay. I'm not going to say they just played bad, but they did okay. Just enough to get us by. The kicker did all the work, pretty much. Kicking 50, 60, 70 yard field goals and shit. Here we go, putting our kicker in a bad position. And then as soon as he missed, we ready to get rid of him. Because he, we, we, we expect him. Just because we can't do shit on offense, we expect him to kick a 90 yard field goal and make it. See, you're not supposed to put your kicker in those type of predicaments. You get what I'm saying? But uh, overall, we won the game. That's all that matters. We're 2-0. Uh, we got past the Jets. Jets are a tough defensively team. And uh, we got, you know, we got to keep it moving. Keep the train pushing. Defense, once again, I, I'm just scared that the defense is going to get tired out and burn out. That's what I'm afraid of. If the offense don't get it together quick, it's going to be, it's going to get ugly. But uh, hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully I'm wrong, guys. But that's all I got, man. Right now, I'm probably going to fifth quarter, fifth quarter Cowboys channel and chat with them for a little bit. And, uh, you know, chop it up with those guys, with those great minds over there. So um, let me know what y'all think in the comment section about today's game, uh, pluses and minus, everything you got to say, man. Just put it right here. I like to read comments. I like to read feedback. 1980 ain't always right. And that's okay. I'm okay with that. I'm probably the only YouTuber, Dallas Cowboy YouTuber. I've, I've said this a million times. I'm probably the only Dallas, hell, I know I'm the only Dallas Cowboy YouTube on here that don't mind being wrong and don't get butt hurt about it. You get what I'm saying? Because everybody thinks they know every fucking thing. You get what I'm saying? Make sure you stay cowboyed up and prayed up because you never know what the day is going to bring you. Holler back at your boy.